This is Company Saturdays. Every Saturday we present you with another company. Today we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Nissan. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, today we're looking at one of the world's top automakers, the Nissan Motor Company. Nissan's history dates back to December 1933, when it was established in Nishiku, Yokohama, Japan, where the headquarters are still located today. The brand is known for its fleet of reliable vehicles and their innovative designs that ensure their vehicles are affordably priced, no matter where in the world they're sold. The company has received numerous awards for its innovation in safety, energy efficiency, dependability, and comfort. Nissan has sold millions of vehicles throughout the years, and they're expected to continue doing so for years to come. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Okay, that's enough background. It's time to dive into our list of the 15 things you didn't know about Nissan. Number 1. Nissan has been producing cars for over 80 years. Nissan has become a household name because the company has been steadily producing cars for 84 years. The company was founded on December 26, 1933 by a team of six men, including Masujiro Hashimoto, Rokuro Oyama, and William Gorab. Initially, the company only made Nissan-branded vehicles. Now, though, Nissan also makes Nismo and Datsun models and has partnered with a number of equally successful automobile manufacturers. Number 2. Nissan produces more electric cars than any other automotive manufacturer in the world. Now that the world has finally started to acknowledge the dangers of climate change, using clean, efficient sources of energy has now become a top priority. This is why such a great emphasis has been placed on switching to electric cars that will not produce harmful emissions. By December 2017, Nissan had sold over 275,000 electric cars. The Nissan LEAF is the most popular electric car in the world. By January 2018, more than 300,000 had been sold. The company has announced that it intends to release a number of new and improved electric vehicles in the very near future. Number 3. Nissan is the sixth largest automobile manufacturer in the world and the largest in the USA. The Nissan brand continues to evolve and expand each year. That's why it's emerged as the sixth largest car manufacturer in the world and the largest in the United States. In 2016, the car maker was able to produce over 5 million units. The company's success is linked in part to the hard work and dedication of its almost 150,000 employees all over the world. The company also has a reputation for lowering operational costs by utilizing efficient production methods. These cost-saving strategies mean a lower bottom line and higher sales all around the world. Number 4. Nissan did not begin exporting to the U.S. until the 1950s. The Nissan brand had very strong ties to the United States long before it began exporting to the country. One of the lead engineers, William Gorham, was in fact American. Also, much of the equipment used in the factory and on the assembly line also originated in the U.S. Still, it was not until the 1950s the company was able to begin exporting their vehicles to America. Until then, their vehicles were primarily sold in Asian countries. Deciding to export to the U.S. was a turning point in the company's history, and they immediately began to see increases in profits as a result. Number 5. Nissan is currently worth approximately $40 billion. The Nissan brand has seen its ups and downs over the years, but it's now holding strong and the company is valued at almost $40 billion. As of June 2018, the company had over $173 million in assets and generated $7 billion in assets in 2017 alone. Nissan is known for producing high-quality vehicles at a reasonable price and continues to put pressure on their competition worldwide, so this number should only climb higher in the future. Number 6. Nissan experienced significant financial difficulties in 1953. 
The year 1953 was marked by extreme financial hardships on the Japanese automaker. The company saw no other alternative but to cut wages while also letting go a number of their employees. The employees were a part of a union, which encouraged them to revolt. This led to the employees going on strike for 100 consecutive days. This further exacerbated Nissan's financial constraints. After a while, a new labor union was formed, which helped to improve the productivity of the firm and their employees. Nissan gradually built itself back up and was bolstered by U.S. sales. Number 7. Nissan has been rocked by a fuel emissions scandal in Japan. Nissan was found guilty of tampering with results of fuel emissions tests on their vehicles in 2018. This discovery is even more scandalous because the automaker has won Green Globe and other similar awards on the basis of the results of those faulty tests. The company is, however, emphasizing that all of its vehicles now operate within the boundaries of international standards of safety and fuel emissions. Investigators have actually found out the scandal involves hundreds of perpetrators and spans a number of years. Number 8. Nissan filed a controversial lawsuit against the Indian government. The automaker filed a $770 million lawsuit against the Indian government in 2017. The company claims it was lured into the Indian market by the large population and promises of tax incentives. Nissan is now suing the government because they feel they have not been able to fully benefit from the promised tax incentives because of unfair policies put in place by the government. The Indian government is holding firm on their stance that the automaker is seeking to claim more than their fair share of the VAT tax refunds. The two parties have yet to come to an amicable agreement, but Nissan has given no indication they intend to withdraw from the Indian market. Number 9. Nissan is owned in part by Renault. Nissan has had a successful partnership with Renault for a number of years. Renault's ownership stake has also increased over time, and they now own about 44% of Nissan's shares and 44% of voting rights. Nissan also has a 15% share in Renault, but does not have voting rights. The arrangement continues to prove beneficial for both parties. Nissan also invested over $2 billion in Mitsubishi Motors, and both firms work together to produce mini cars. Number 10. The most expensive Nissan vehicle costs almost $2 million. Nissan has thrived because of its reputation of producing modestly priced vehicles. The Nissan family, however, also owns and produces Infiniti vehicles. These are among the most luxurious and expensive in the world. Infiniti started selling their luxury vehicles back in 1989 and continues to increase in popularity across the globe. The most expensive Nissan vehicle in the world is the 2017 Infiniti Prototype 9 that topped the charts for costing $2 million. This vehicle can go from 0 to 100 in less than 6 seconds and can reach top speeds of 170 kilometers an hour. Number 11. Nissan announced that there will be changes to the design of one of their most popular vehicles, the Pathfinder. Nissan first launched the Pathfinder in 1985. The design has since been improved to give passengers and the driver more space, to make the vehicle more powerful, and to improve the overall aesthetics. The company has announced there will be further improvements in the latest model to be available in 2019. The new model is expected to boast improvements to the transmission, air conditioning unit, and the infotainment system. Number 12. The Nissan Titan King Cab was named the Truck of the Year in 2018. A prestigious group of international automotive journalists have selected the vehicle as the 2018 Rocky Mountain Truck of the Year. This award is evidence that the automaker continues to innovate and improve on each release of their vehicles. It's evident the vehicle was designed to endure rough terrain and long drives, since it has four-wheel drive and a 5.6-liter V8 gasoline engine. Number 13. Nissan produced military equipment during World War II. Many Nissan lovers, like most people, are shocked by the horrors of World War II and are even more shocked to learn that Nissan also produced military equipment during the horrendous war. 
The company shifted their focus from passenger vehicles to making army trucks, motorboats, and specialty engines. They supplied the Japanese government and a number of other militaries with their ingenious, carefully crafted designs. Number 14. The Nissan Corporation was founded by a merger between several other automakers. Although the company as we know it formed in 1933, production technically began in 1914 when Kwa Ishinsha Company began making passenger vehicles. The very first vehicle produced was called DAT, which was so named using the first letter in the last name of each of its three founders. The Kwa Shincha later merged with the Lila Company and began making trucks. In 1919, the firm also merged with Jitsuyo Jidosha. Then the company was later renamed Nissan in 1933. Number 15. Nissan had started to put an end to car crashes involving their vehicles. Public discussions about Vision Zero surfaced in 2015. The Japanese automaker intends to eliminate car accidents involving their vehicles altogether. They have incorporated several new safety features in their vehicles to prevent collisions. Nissan has also begun promoting the idea by means of creative advertisement campaigns aimed at changing the way we drive. The world would definitely be a better place if they're able to achieve this goal. Even if they don't stamp out car crashes forever, we certainly appreciate the initiative. Now, Alexers, we're curious to know, what do you think about Nissan vehicles? Do you think they're as reasonably priced and innovative as they claim to be? Do you think they'll ever achieve zero crashes? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here, are you? Of course, that's because you're a true Alexer, and you know you get a bonus. Here it is. Number 16. Nissan once produced three-wheeled cars. When Nissan merged with the Jitsoyu Jidosha Company in 1919, Jitsoyu was already famous for producing three-wheeled cars. They were regarded as exceptional pioneers because the world had never seen the ingenious design before. And interestingly enough, the lead designer at Jitsoyu was none other than the American William Gorham. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.